reading from the plan chapter five, still chapter five, the feast. Line number 106, you who believe when death approaches any of you, let two just men from among you act as witnesses to the making of a bequest or two men from another people if you are journeying in the land when death approaches. Keep the two witnesses back after prayer. If you have any doubts, make them both swear by God. We will not sell our testimony for any price, even if a close relative is involved. We will not hide God's testimony, for then we should be doing wrong. If it is discovered that these two men are guilty of perjury with regards to this bequest, the wishes of the dying dead person here, if he discovered that these two are guilty, <clears throat> two of those whose rights have been usurped have a better right to bear witness in their place. Let them swear by God. Our testimony is truer than theirs. We have not overstated our case, for that would make us wrongdoers. This will make it more likely they will give true and proper testimony or fear that their oaths might be refuted by others afterwards. Be mindful of God and listen. God does not guide those who break his laws. On the day when God assembles all the messengers and asks, what response did you receive? They will say, we do not have that knowledge. You alone know things that cannot be seen. Then God will say, Jesus, son of Mary, remember my favor to you and your mother, how I strengthened you with the Holy Spirit so that you spoke to the people in your infancy and as a grown man. How I taught you the scripture and wisdom, the Torah and the gospel. How by my leave <clears throat> you fashioned the shape of a bird out of clay, breathed into it and it became by my leave a bird. How, by my leave, you healed a blind person and a leper. How, by my leave, you brought the dead back to life. How I restrained the children of Israel from harming you, and you brought them clear signs. And those of them who disbelieved said, this is clearly nothing but sorcery. And how I inspired the disciples to believe in me and my messengers. They said, we believe and bear witness that we devote ourselves to God only.